What is it that we want to do with our charged, uncomfortable emotions that arise from our subconscious, which were likely planted there from our childhood? You know, we don't like these feelings, so we try to suppress them. You know, we suppress them through uh, addictive behaviors. There are any number of addictions available to us. Addictions to sex, food, gambling, drugs, alcohol, work. And the list can go on and on. If you resist these emotions and push them away, try not to look at them and keep pushing them deeper down inside, then it may surface as not only an addiction but some chronic affliction and doctors won't know what to do for you. you. Remember, doctors don't heal anybody. It is you and your body that does the healing. You know, a good doctor can help you get back on course, but most doctors can only offer you medicines, that is, drugs, that suppress your symptoms, and uh, you are welcome to medicate yourself for the rest of your life. And often these and this approach leaves you with an ongoing affliction and now possibly a new addiction. You find there is no way out. But there is a way out and the way out is to go inward, to meet the cause. You know, quitting addiction through willpower puts you in that precarious state of quiet desperation, in a state of recovery. That is, you have covered up the reason from your awareness again. And you risk returning to your addiction more intensely. And so what is the answer? Well, the answer can be found in presence. When you no longer run from the cause, which is these suppressed emotions, you can integrate them and calm them then the need for the addictive behaviors we use to hide these emotions is reduced and uh, eventually no longer needed. In presence, we can feel the toxic effects of our addictions and our afflictions can be calmed and can disappear. You know, we are, as a society, we are an un unconscious society. You know, at this time, I'm in Canada, in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, there's been a lockdown and other measures introduced. And only essential services have been allowed to stay open for a time, right? Listed as essential services are liquor stores and cannabis dispensaries. You know, why do you think that is? Well, the government understands that we need to continually self-medicate to reduce our discomfort. Hmm. Become present, journey inward, break out. Don't be held by the chains that keep growing stronger. Addiction and affliction doesn't have to be a life sentence. It's an experience. An experience is change.